How's it going YouTube? Patrick sits here back to another Pokemon opening video. So we have more Shining Fates. Uh, this is a our third display box. So I have one left here. I'm going to set over side. It comes with um, 10 tins in it, two packs each. So 20 packs. You can see our Shining Fate pack count is at 136. Yeah, I got a little lazy and just crossed it out and put 136. So these tins have absolutely been just crazy good. I mean, just crazy good, which I, I ha almost hate to say that because, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop with this stuff, but we have just, whoa, and as I uh, hit my camera, sorry, um, and uh, I'm just waiting for the other shoe to drop because I'm just, I've never been a big proponent of like this, um, this thing is better than this and you know and there's a code card right there off the bat they can never seem to make up their mind whether or not they're gonna be in it looks like we got a hit right off the bat but these tens have just been absolutely crazy i've opened up a bunch of etbs um and i've opened up opened up 12 of the six pack tins uh with cramorant and not the one with bolton but the other one and then two etbs and I probably got more in the 40 packs of these tins than I did in all that other stuff. So like, I think I got better in, I'm actually gonna compare at the end of this video because I have a stack of what I got out of everything else and then a stack out of this. The only thing you're not really getting in this is gonna be the um, uh, promo cards. So, looks like we got Corviknight right off the bat and a Cinderace V. So very nice. So starting off good right again. Corviknight, I don't think we've hit yet. Um, as I say every video, the shiny I'm really looking for is Suicune. So hopefully we can hit him sometime, him or her. I don't know if there's like a, I don't know if there's a male female version of Suicune, which the whole legendary Pokemon thing, I mean, I get why they have to have it that way. Like you can get multiple of them, but I mean, cause you're not going to have like only one person in the world who gets a particular shiny Pokemon, uh, like a legendary. So, but I wonder how they determine like male or female or, you know, like Latias and Latios. So is, aren't they brother and sister or something like that? And I, I want to say one's a male, one's a female, but not really sure. So, but, but I mean, you're, not, you're just not going to have one of each, but I think in the cartoon, right? There's like, there's only one Entei, like there's not, there's not two Entei's. There's only one Kyogre. There's not multiple Kyogre. It's not like a, um, they're, they're not like a. A race or whatever of Pokemon, whatever you would call it. I don't, know, I don't know. You wouldn't call them a race, like a. I don't know. Type of they're a Pokemon type, but there's only one of them. Like there's only one Ar Ar Arceus, so I would think. So anyway, let's moving on to other things. Ooh, all right, Dra Drizzle, and a Weezing Hollow. Very nice pack there. So that's. Uh, Wait, what did we, I kind of missed what, okay, so we are three packs in. Okay, I was gonna say, two shiny hollows in the same tin would be pretty good, but I'm actually, um, this will be the fourth pack, okay. So what I'm seeing so far, if I buy any more Hidden Fates, or Hidden Fates, geez, uh, any more Shining Fates, I'm only buying these tins. These things are amazing. Uh, we got Nicket, Reverse, Yon Mega, and but you know how it is with this stuff. I mean, honestly, I kind of feel like the less packs, maybe the better. Because like, if you buy an ETB, a lot of times you'll get like one full art was kind of the thing in Hidden Fates. But a lot of times you'd buy. I kind of felt other than the promo that had you know the three birds, which was awesome. Um, if you took three things of the mini tins with three packs was did they have three or did they have two maybe it was the pin sets i can't remember but i don't know i just kind of feel like you have a better chance to hit like if you were to tell me what would you rather have five of these mini tins or one etb i'd probably take five of these mini tins especially with what i've been pulling out of them but you know that's just me 
I mean, I, I kind of feel like if you have two packs in a tin, it's kind of stinker if you don't have, you know, at least one hit in those two packs. It just kind of sucks. Um, and I have had tins where we haven't had very few, I think. If we went back and looked at my video, I like I kind of started it off with the first three tins I opened up didn't have anything. And then it all kind of just went crazy from there. All right. It's like we might have a full art in this one. We got Horsey, Snom, Spinarak. Doesn't look like who we want it to be. And it's Rillaboom V. Always looking for right over here, the Charizard uh, thing. Wow, and an Alcream V right behind that. So a two for a pack. Very cool. Two hits. And I don't think I've hit an Alcream yet. Oh, goodness. I'm going to run out of... Uh, um, I'm going to run out of, uh, um, yeah, I'm going to run, I'm going to run out of, um, uh, uh, penny sleeves. I can't think what is going on here. I'm going to have to start taking some cards out. Like these hollows don't need them right now. Goodness gracious. I'm going to have to save them for just the really good hits. I only got like five penny sleeves. No to self, man. Come on. Come on, Hatcher. You always need to have penny sleeves. What is wrong with you? Okay. Uh, next two packs. This is the second one of Celebi. Yeah, I haven't been really like, I've, you know, I, the other two openings had a ton of, uh, you know, I talked about the tin and everything. So this is just going straight in and Yvettel, who seems to be our guy with amazing rares. I'm not kidding. I've got eight of him. And then like two of Kyogre and two of uh, Reshiram. So, okay. Well, I'm glad to get you, buddy. But give us some of the other ones, Pokemon. Come on. All right. And then we got Code Card. I always get to talking and get uh, kind of sidetracked when I get something good. So, I forgot what I was even talking about. So there are these. We'll put that bulk over here and get into Reshram tin. Yeah, so in all the other videos, okay, they all have a Mewtwo coin in them. And then the Kyogre ones have another Pokemon that I haven't quite figured out who it was yet. And I'm too lazy to search about it online. So I'd like to see how many of the V cards we have. We might be really close to having... I don't know. I want to say there's 16 V and V Max. I want to say there's six V Max. Um, there's several of the V cards that aren't V Max cards, like uh, Charizard, obviously, is not one. Um, so we got a Rusted Sword Reverse. Nothing there. And then a Charizard pack. Come on. All right. We really need to turn this opening around. It's actually been pretty good. We, we got one shiny V card, but I think. I kind of feel like a VMAX card in every display shiny is going to be. Look at that. Galarian Surf fetched. Or just one of these is pretty good. Um, but ideally, it'd be nice to hit a VMAX card in every one. That's pretty nice. Uh, unfortunately, a little bit off center, but that's just the artwork on that is really neat. Slapping people with that onion of his or whatever that thing is. So, next, Reshram 10. Mewtwo coin. I have so many of these coins. Well, okay. Uh, how many tins are there? Yeah. 40 coins. Do the math. And 40 of these tins that I don't know I don't know what to do with. Probably just give them away to like Goodwill or something like that. Give some to my niece or just give her a couple of these. To, I have some more of these coming from Game Nerds, but I only ordered five. Um, this was actually from a whole case. So it looks like we got a V Max, not a V Max, in V. Okay, we'll take it. I think I have her already, but we'll see. That's pretty good. Hey, look here in 20 packs. If, if I'm getting a V, a uh, shiny V card, one in every 10 packs, that's that's pretty good in my opinion. I mean that's really what you, realistically what you should be getting in a, like an ETB, um, you know. But is what it is. What are we at? Okay, code card. And we got nothing else. Q fan. 
um, reverse, and then nothing else. So, okay, four tens left. We got Manaphy coming up. What do you got for us, Manaphy? Give us our first gold card, and I think it's about time we got Charizard. I want to say people were, what was like the Charizard was like, if, since there's only six VMAX, and I think the VMAX ones are one in 20 packs, you should get a Charizard after about, what, one in every 120 packs or something like that, but luckily for us we have not got any uh we haven't got any uh duplicate v max yet but i say that and now what's going to happen we got grookey snom got gossifler and ditto is the v card got kind of excited because i, I kind of knew there was a hit in there but energy is going to go over here but hey it's a hit with sorry ditto but you do not get a penny sleeve because I only have three left and I have a feeling I'm going to need them good card I'm just thinking maybe we'll need it hopefully we'll need them all right all right three tens left mana feed number two oh, coin going everywhere And we got two packs. Really hard to get out of there. I thought about just taking all the packs out of the tins, um, but I kind of wanted to, I don't know. I think it's nice to be able to see what you get out of each tin. Um, I honestly can't remember, but looks like we got something here. We got more Pico, Yanma, Chutel, Qfant, Horsey and oh, Toxicity V Max, very nice. We'll take that. And a Greedent V, is that how you say that? Very cool. So we'll put that one over there. And we did it. Oh, that's like one V Max every display box, it seems. That's just awesome. Now we just need that Charizard. Come on. So we've got. That's crazy. Three V Maxes in one display case. Oops, wrong there. And we didn't get. So we basically this will be sixty packs, right? And we've gotten three V Maxes. We opened up what ninety six packs before that and didn't even and only got one. That's pretty crazy. Nice. Another one. Draco Fish and Luxray. Very cool. I don't want this to get all mixed up here. All right, Draco Fish. So, yeah, okay, we're going to have to use a penny sleeve for that one. Got to. It's a shiny. Shiny have to get the penny sleeve. So, hopefully we'll have a case where we do need a penny sleeve. I got some promos right over here that have sleeves on them that are going to get... The penny sleeves are going to be ripped right out if we get something good because i have one penny sleeve yet left and i have a feeling we're going to get two hits calling it all right we got code card wouldn't it be weird if we just got one more shiny and then there was perfect amount of uh of penny sleeves but we don't want that we want two more we're going to get greedy And there is the code card. That one is a nice, easy scan. Looks like we might have a V card in here. I think it's just a regular V, not the uh, not the shiny one. But it is a shiny Phalanx and a Morpico V. Very nice. Again, just getting a lot of the a lot of the Pokemon that not a lot of doubles, which is really nice. I don't think any of the shiny hollows we got have been doubles today at all. Maybe the Corviknight, I can't recall. So, okay, last 10 of this third 
display box, which has been absolutely just crazy, crazy good. I feel like the only thing we haven't got out of this display box is um, full art trainers, but let's get another VMAX. Come on, we can get another shiny VMAX. That would be crazy good. And there's that, of course. So we got, doesn't look like anything in here. Yep, Chutal. It's kind of interesting that they didn't um, guarantee hollows in every one of these, didn't they? I guess Hidden Fates wasn't a guaranteed hollow either, was it? So, but all right, last pack. Doesn't look like we have anything. Maybe a, nope, it's gonna be nothing. So we had the exact amount of penny sleeves that we kind of needed there. So here is the code card and pretty good opening. We did get the three V cards, ditto, Greedent and more Pico. And then our, what I would call better hits were, we got five shiny hollows this one. We got one Yvetel, uh, Akrimi V, and that's the full art, and then a Cinder Ace, which is really over there. And then the bigger hits were two shiny V cards with Ndidi and Rillaboom. And the hit of the break, definitely Toxicity, V Max, shiny. That's sick. Look at his tongue hanging out there. Sick. So, anyway, yeah, once again, these display boxes are absolute fire. If you can find a whole display box, buy it. Um, I'm actually kind of, I wasn't going to buy any more Shining Fates, but if these display cases come down, I'm thinking about buying another one. They're that good. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and good luck ripping.